Welcome to the Bond Analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Let's ask, I want to ask a very honest question. How do a speaker of National Assembly, how can a speaker of the National Assembly donate 5 million Kenyan shillings to a secondary school, a single school, for development of a school, a state civil servant who is having a salary that is around one million, the month is not nothing. And Kenyans are asking Moses Masika Wetangula, the Speaker of the National Assembly, I've, I've seen this in Twitter, asking him, even if it is generosity, but about the ability. Let's go straight to Twitter. Yesterday, Moses Wetangula attended some um, fundraiser in Tigania West, Meru. I don't know that Tigania is in Meru or Tarakan, it is someone going to confirm. And this is what they shared. He shared in his Twitter. This afternoon, I contributed 5.3 million Kenyan shillings for the infrastructural development of um, KK Taraine Junior Secondary School in Tigania West. This is during a function hosted by friend and area MP, Dr. John Mutunga, to give the school a facelift as well as lay the foundation for the establishment of a junior secondary school. The need to start this school was a necessity dictated by the auditor's orders seven kilometer distance that children had to walk to the nearest institution. I, I am not against, and of course no one is against the fact that the residents of that, children in that area, needed a school. He was hosted by the area member of parliament who also has the CDF as a kitty. The CDF kitty is a kitty that um, takes care of um, development of even schools. In fact, even infrastructural, they're building classes, and laboratories and here and there. And in that event, Moses Masika Wetangula was the chief guest. We want to ask again, 5.3 million one day a single donation in one school if that money was to be spread to how many schools will how many schools are in need of uh, if you can give one school 1.3 million while there is a school that doesn't have even a single classroom now this is already a school that just needed face lifting there is a school somewhere in all this time somewhere in, you know, in Baringo, those deserts, in Narok, that doesn't have even a single classroom. Even a single classroom. classroom. I remember last year, we had to build a toilet to my former primary school. After the one that was built, you know, it was, I don't know what happened. Okay. We had to chip in as alumni of that school to build a toilet. One. And so, where is equalization? And there is this new trend of Kenya Kwanzaa is pumping a lot of money in schools. It is either disguised as development or packaged as money donated to students to have a party after graduation or money given for some you know project of buying some bus well all this is public money let's be honest even if papa waroma is a good man with a clean heart the big heart do you think it's easy to splat 5.3 million from even let's try to think from his investment is it is it taking some profits from somewhere to pump there? I don't think so. Is it splashing part of his salary? I don't think so. 
Because if it was to genuinely pick from his salary, he has taken his salary for the last one year. Um, one year that means in the team around 12, around 13 million because we are now in, in he, he, he takes home more than 1 million. Even if you can create the allowances, probably has like 15 million. So the, can he split 5 million to one school? And I, I saw Twitter, uh, followers are descending on him asking him, how many schools in Bungoma do not have even some quality classrooms? Chalk. How many schools are struggling to pay uh, BUG teachers, BOM teachers? So we need to look at this matter holistically. It's very clear uh, and it's a very clear probability that if this money was given, then it is public money. It is something from the office of a speaker. Where does that expenditure fall? It's a bit suspicious. You know, I, I, I do compare the current donation in schools with the one that used to be done in church. Uh, towards when William Ruto was campaigning, he did a lot of donation in church, building churches and all that. And then they became the new campaign platforms. I was just discussing, peer discussion by another analyst, and we were saying that the same money that was being given to pastors could be they have gone to the principals and they have now used the schools. The parents that they talked to in church and sang the UDA song are now targeted in schools. They will be told this has been done by Kenya Kwanzaa, this money and that. Even President Ruto has not done such a donation. Let's be honest. Oh, I wow. There's a school he gave over 50 million. <laughs> yes, again, another 2 million. The guy has been splashing millions in graduation ceremonies. Something is simply not adding up. While we all say that we have a dilapidated economy, how? How, if we are spending such money, we just, if you can donate five million, are we really in a dilapidated economy? If one office can splash that kind of money. Must be a little bit careful because are we staring at proceeds of illicit transactions? You know. There are some leaders that have a history of these illicit transactions. What, what, what kind of money is that? Are we, are we classing some money? <laughs> you know? They give it an eternal... Someone, someone will say that... Um, <laughs> though I normally don't buy it because uh, I tend to think that it, it's one that a bit impractical. But someone, someone once said that uh, politicians go and pledge five million and probably five is given if it's given in cash then after the event half of that money is taken back you know half of that money is taken back to the politician and, and the story ends there so most of it is money for gallery but i've always thought if you do that but you've already announced in twitter and social media that i gave five million Every parent in that school, if you say it even that microphone, every parent knows you get five million. So people are expecting things to change. If you take back that money, will there be a backlash? But it's it's a possibility. Because again, no one cares. No one goes back to confirm that, okay, has that money been used properly? Number two, there could be an, um, uh, an inside game to do political smoothening by just pouring money. You know, I want you to imagine if this money gets to the BOG of the school. Of course, it's for building a junior secondary school. Um, BOG, well, will, will, will it really be managed clearly exactly for that? It will get into other transactions. It will get into other smoothening visibility activities. Now, I understand that, um, and, and I think I, I, need, I want to make that clarification. When Ruto donated 50 million in a school that is in Muranga, I understood later that it was the Ministry of Education to maybe uh, do the input. And of course, it didn't come from William Ruto. So if that is president, 
In this event, Watangula was not there with even a single cabinet or a, pre a, representative, a representative from the Ministry of Education. So it's clearly that if this money is supposed to be given, then that money is going to come from Wachangula. Now, what's, um, what's the way forward? What needs to be done? We need to agree, number one, this is public money. And we must, Kenya Kwanzaa should consider formulating a policy on public spending of public money, especially on this. You know, there is that money, for example, there is one ministry that has money, some emergency kit. Yeah, Minister of Health has an emergency, I think, uh, interior, emergency and security, or something. Yeah. I think even presidency, the face of the president, that of the deputy, probably even this one, Obetangul has that kitty. And someone was even telling me that that kitty is the most abused. It's one way I would say, go announce, we're going to give that school five million. Five million comes from uh, the same kitty, and it doesn't go to that place, that school. The school gets one million or two, then the rest is taken back. And that money is swindled. So, expenditure of public money, number one, the reason why we must formulate a policy, because now, this school are, is privileged because they had access to the speaker. And through that access, because of that political proximity, they got five million. How about a school that cannot access such a high office? Let's think. Then, is money going to be given on access, on proximity? So, then it means that quite a number of schools are going to be disadvantaged because they cannot access that kitty. That's the bigger picture. And that's why I'm saying this matter needs to be relooked keenly. I, it's a puzzle on how 5 million a speaker can donate 5 million. At a time, even if you have a big hand. But how about the ability to make such a nation? Thank you.